everybody. I've got something different to share with you today. Um, I recently spotted Shar Fisher here on YouTube's um, Friendship Journal Challenge, and I contacted her and asked her if it was too late for me to join, and she um, responded and said, no, I, I could still participate. So I'll, as soon as I got that message, I jumped in and uh, created this as my entry for her Friendship Journal Challenge. Um, she's celebrating uh, her three over 300 subscriber with a giveaway, and she's asked for the participants to send in a um, folded, uh, you know, copy paper page, whatever is standard to your country. Ours is A4. You fold that in half and then decorate all the sides. So this is my... Um, entry to her giveaway and I'm hoping she'll like it because I know she likes um, shabby chic um, so I've tried to keep it um, very you know soft in the coloring which is my style and that's what she's asked us to do is is create something in our style so I'm hoping she's gonna like this one um, so I started off with the paper cut you know folded in half and then I layered on it some old music sheet and then I had some bits of digital papers that were left over that coordinated and then of course I have to add the Edith Holden pages because that's just you know goes along with this theme and I love the colors of the Edith Holden pages and then here I've got some muslin and I've stitched one of the Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts to it and this is one of Tracy's uh, butterfly tea cards from her shop Lots of sewing, lots of, um, well, you know, bits of little laces. And then <clears throat> in here I've made <clears throat> a little tag. This is watercolor paper, and I've stamped and inked. Um, and then just added some cheesecloth and some Irish linen thread. I like, I like to have a lot of dimension on mine. So that's tucked in, and you can see here I've got some old ledger. And I love how that's come out. I love that bird. So I've tried to keep it um, nature, but a lot of uh, bird images. And then here I've just done a little negative um, die cut there and a little stamped journal card that's been tucked in. Okay, so inside here, again, I tried to be <clears throat> really selective on which images I use because I wanted it to have a lot of birds in it. And this one is beautiful. So I've backed that with some of the uh, shipping paper that you get on the long rolls, you know, the craft. I love to work with that. And then I've just added little, you know, bits of trim poking through. And then this, again, has all been collaged with old book page and um, some of the shipping paper so that it would have a nice rustic feel to it. This is a journal card I've made um, and then I just added one of the Tim Holtz photo dies um, and then these are some of the tiny tags that you can get in Tracy's shop and I love those. So there's some little journaling space there and another little bird tea card from Tracy's shop and then I needed to add a B of course and then this was left over from one of Artie Mae's kits, and I, I just thought it went along with this. So there's lots of little places to write. And then I've got that tucked in in there. Over here I've added um, one of the die cuts, and then I made another journal tag here with I've stamped on the muslin there, added some trim, and more Edith Holden page. I love the, how that's come out. And then I wanted to make sure that she had some writing space, so I made this into a pocket, and it will um, open up. So she's got actually a lot of writing space here. Um, it's, it's pretty chunky. I might have added a bit too much, but I did want to make sure she had plenty of space so she could write some things. And this is a big, another Edith Holden book page that I've just you know, added a little brad there and then this little charm. It's 
so that she could close it up. And then just a bit of lace there. So on the back, <coughs> I've made these little pockets and then I wanted to have some more of the die cuts because I like those for the dimension. So there's more journaling space there. And then another tag that I made with a stamp I've got in my stash. And you can do some writing on the back of that as well. And she's asked us to put our name, so I put one of my little um, Firefly stamped labels there. And I've stitched that so that, that she knows where this came from. So that's my entry to Star, uh, Char's um, giveaway. So I'm going to put a link to her channel below. So you guys can check it out because she's got some beautiful um, entries and it's really fun, you know, if you've got some time to look through and see all the different styles. But yeah, I love these challenges and uh, having said that, I intend to do one myself, but I just haven't had time to uh, create a journal for the giveaway. But be watching because next year I'm going to try to do the same um, if anybody's interested. Because I, I just think it's how nice it's going to be to actually open up a journal and see from the different um, artists that we all follow and admire here. So hopefully um, Shar's going to like this. And like I said, you guys check out her channel in the description box. Um, I'll put her link. And I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. And I'll be back very soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.